Hi guys, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to Anglegeist. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your support. This is the Daily Forecast. It is originally created for Wednesday, the 23rd of February, but it is not solely set for that day. If you're seeing it on a different date, that's okay. If it makes sense to your life, please utilize it for the best of your ability. Um, the date isn't necessarily as important as the message, but for those that follow along regularly, um, it is for the uh, 23rd of February, right? You will hear me referring to the underpinning energy. That's Sunday's reading where I look at the week as a whole. So I will refer back to those cards. If you're wondering how to find that reading as a new viewer, it's in the lower left-hand corner at the end of this video. And that will take you back to seeing sort of a little bit of a layer underneath what I'm looking at for today, okay? Um, beyond that, please check out the drop-down menu. In there is all the stuff that I want you to know as far as the channel is concerned, what decks I use, how to contact me via social media, if you're interested in a private reading, all of that sort of stuff, and ways to support the channel. Ways you can support the channel rather immediately is if you hit that thumbs up sign after watching the video if you enjoyed it. And also, um, leaving me a question or comment greatly helps. And of course, subscribing. Like, if you like my content, please subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to grow my channel. I've been on it for a couple of years now. It's not really growing so well. I mean, it's okay, but it needs more growth. So please help me by subscribing or um, uh, posting it up to your social media platform so others may be able to see it, right? Like, maybe there's a group or somewhere where you think people could utilize these readings. Please feel free to repost them wherever they're, you know, um, appropriate, let's say. I don't want you guys just randomly posting them in places that, you know, people may not want them. I don't want to cause any controversy. All right, so let's get into these cards and see what's going on today. And this is a collective reading too, just so you know it is for all signs. So it's a shared reading because we all share sort of energy politically, um, you know, uh, globally, uh, different, you know, racially, we, there's collective energies that we share. So this is to look at, you know, kind of what's out there and what's available to us and what we might be experiencing or need to be aware of, right? Um, some of you may experience it at a deeper degree or a more, you know, intense version of whatever I'm talking about. So you don't, um, you know, and some of you may not experience it at all. And that doesn't mean that you're wrong or doing anything wrong. You just might be doing working on something different at this time. And this may not be the reading for you. So don't, uh, anybody who's watching it says, wait, this doesn't make sense to my life. Or, oh my God, I'm not seeing that. What am I doing wrong? Don't think that. That's not the case, okay? Basically, I trust that the cards are going to get the message to the viewers that need the message. Okay, so... I never shuffle both decks prior, but I'm going to do it today. We're just going to see what comes out. I'm kind of running a little bit behind. I've already been to the gym this morning. Oh, I got up at 5 a.m. Okay, let me see here. All right, so for our tarot card coming out is the Lord of Fire. Got it. So this is basically the King of Wands. He's Mr. I see it, I want it, I take it kind of thing. He's associated with fire, which is the element of spirit, right? Um, sometimes fire can be seen as impulsive, but I don't see the King of Wands as impulsive. He's more wizened. He's smarter. He's n learned like how to um, master his fiery nature or um, uh, his desires in a way, right? He knows how to go about utilizing his um, uh, uh, um, skill set, I guess you would call it, or his attributes in a way that is pretty direct, right? Um, go in, grab it, make it happen. Take action. Fire is always about action, desire, sometimes travel, right? Movement. So he would be one that would be in charge of moving us forward, uh, pushing us towards a goal. I love that his face is facing what I consider to be the future of the reading. So some of you might be looking at a very specific goal right now or a desire that you want and you actually may have an actionable plan because this is the king, right? We're talking about the Lord of Fire. He would 
know about how to go about getting there, right? And it, it looks like he's got his eye trained right on it, right? So if there's a person, uh, a job, um, a certain amount of money, some sort of goal that you have set, a desire, a set point desire that is within you today, he is the guy that's going to sort of set out the plans for you to start to take the action to move towards that goal, right? I like that he shows up. We've been having really strange readings this week. And since we are at Wednesday, I want to look at what the underpinning energy was. The underpinning energy is the Seven of Swords, which to me felt like there's some... Seven of Swords is oftentimes a betrayal, a lie, or some sort of untruth coming to light, right? Somebody not being so... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, honest, really. You know, it's just like somebody's not telling a situation isn't as it appears. A person isn't doing what they say. It's it's that kind of a vibe, right? But with the Lord of Fire here on our side, I feel like we're able to see quite clearly who and what is up, right? We're going to get a very clear picture of what's going on, and we're going to know how to probably address the issue if need be. But I do want to go back to the Sunday reading and remind you that the underpinning oracle card is that advice from a cat, which is like, hold your tongue, right? Wait for the right time. The Lord of Fire, because he's fire, he could be a bit angry, right? Or he could be a little bit, maybe say, demanding. You might want to jump to conclusions or be a, 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 uh, accusatory in a way. If you figure out maybe something around you isn't honest or 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 giving you the full truth, right? The Lord of Fire, though, I will say this. Before taking that action or before making that statement, before coming down or bringing down the hammer on somebody, think about it. Because there was definitely some, like, um, cards around withholding one's position. The end of the week in the Sunday reading is the Seven of Pentacles, which is about patience. The Lord of Fire or the King of Wands is not necessarily the most patient card in the deck. He's going to be like, no bitch, get out my way. But we don't want to do that. I think what we want to do is we want to understand that we are capable, we are smart, we are driven, we are powerful, we are strong. Those are aspects of the Lord of Fire that we want to sit in as we watch what is going on around us, assess the situation from a place of intelligence and from a place of Although we might be a little bit emotionally affected by it in a maybe an angry way, because the fire aspect kind of gives me a little bit of an angry and the color of this card gives me a little bit of like, you know what, I'm pissed that this is happening or I'm in resistance to this happening. Um, understand that you are still, you have this king aspect of this, which is you're still in charge. You're still the authority. You get to choose how much attention you give to this situation and how you go about giving that attention. You can give no attention at all. You can give no fucks, as they say, right? Or pretend like you give no fucks. The Lord of Fire would be smart like that, right? He wouldn't necessarily... Um, honestly, the Lord of Fire would probably tell a bitch off, to be honest. But I feel like the cards, especially with that Seven of Pentacles as the end of the week energy and that advice from a cat, um, this is about telling... I feel like do not blow up today. Some of you may blow up. <laughs> That's the Lord of Fire too. Like you might just have to tell somebody something. You know, yesterday's grounding stone was peace and the grounding stone for the week is nature, right? And when I'm talking about nature in this week's readings, it's not about nature like trees and plants. It's about our true nature and the nature of say another person or another situation that isn't necessarily in, in alignment with what we thought it was. Does that make sense? And so coming to terms with that, we're going to maybe have to uh, make some changes, take some action, but we might have to take that action like in the background or quietly and not involve, we don't want to create the drama. Does that make sense? We don't want to, um, how do I want to say this? I, I just feel like this Lord of Fire sees the Seven of uh, Swords quite clearly. Now, he's not happy about it, but it doesn't mean that he has to like blow the entire situation up just yet. Let's look at the Seeker Oracle. Ooh, shit. Maybe we do have to blow it up. It's name the thing. Look at that eye. This is about, and, and look at like the Lord of Fire too. He's like looking directly at something that's like, we are seeing a situation for what it is. When it's saying name that thing, to me, 
right out of the gate, it's like, and the Lord of Fire, it's like seeing a person, a betrayal, a lie, uh, uh, an unjust situation, something is not able to be denied any longer with these two cards here in the midweek and the seven of swords underneath it. Let me read name the thing. This almost looks like another seven of swords guy. Like he's a little like kind of, and you the, like the Lord of Fire's got his eyes on him. You know, this is also a baby to whatever this is, but like to me, it's sort of like a, this creepy little creature in a weird way. Um, and we're just keeping eyes. We may not, it says name the thing, right? What I think is, is we can certainly name the thing for ourselves and understand it is what it is, but we don't have to let it um, overtake us, explode our world, uh, shake our foundations, right? So see the thing, look into its eyes. It's a gaze you have been avoiding. The thing is something that you shy away from, something that you do not want to accept or acknowledge. Face it, at the moment, the thing is small and its teeth and claws can only inflict minor discomfort. It's best to confront the thing. Name it. When you name it, you can tame it. Do not procrastinate. Do not put it off any longer. Tame it before the little thing becomes a big, monstrous thing that has the potential to do real and lasting harm. We avoid situations that we know are going to cause stress. On the surface, this might seem like a good choice, but then the source of stress is always there in the back of our mind, quietly causing our cortisol levels to rise. Cortisol plays a key role in helping our body to deal with stress, but if levels of this steroid remain too high for too long, it does more harm than good. If there's something you've been avoiding, an appointment with the doctor or dentist, an issue with a friend or loved one that needs to be addressed, or maybe an ugly truth that you're doing your best to deny, then it is time to face it and do what needs to be done. A minor issue can become a major one if it's not addressed straight away. Dealing with it now will help to keep your stress levels low. Confronting the thing and naming it is the best way of dealing with it. By banishing it, we keep the body and mind healthy. Doesn't mean, I'm telling you guys, this doesn't mean like blow shit up, but naming the thing may be about seeing for what it really is to us and then going about taking our own sort of like action right? The Lord of Fire is going to take action on whatever this thing is for us that we've maybe been like not looking at or avoiding or feeling about. And boom, it's now here. That Seven of Swords is underpinning this. It's here. There's no um, denying it is kind of the feeling that I've got. Uh, the grounding stone for the day is promise, right? Again, I see this word similar to nature in two different ways. I think of it as promise, like a promise we make to ourselves, which is what I feel like this is about for today. We need to ground in that promise of, you know, seeing things for what they are, no longer avoiding whatever it is that's the elephant that's in the room, right? Um, naming that thing and then choosing to move away from it or um, to uh, disconnect from it. Doing so with patience because we have that seven of pentacles coming in, in the... Uh, in the end of the week, right? So be patient with ourselves, but also be patient with say, if it's a person, the situation, whatever it may be, um, you know, exemplify that seven of pentacles, groundedness, uh, patience, attention to detail, knowing when the right thing is to say what you need to say. But this promise here is like a promise to oneself is how I feel. We need to ground in the promise to ourselves that we won't put up with this sort of Whatever this thing is, this wrongdoing or this betrayal, this lying, this seven of swords scenario that lies underneath all of this, we need to make a promise to ourselves to no longer allow it to go on, right? In, in whatever form that takes for us. I hope that makes sense, you guys. Um, I don't know if this is this week is specific to certain people or what, but please leave me a question or comment if it does make sense. Um, please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the reading. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow to see how these cards continue to unfold for this week. It feels like there's just a major realization that's happening not only outside of us, around us, but also within us too. That's also kind of the idea of this promise that we're making to ourselves and learning about our true nature within, say, the face of adversity. That is your 
your forecast, you guys. Have a wonderful day. Please share it out. Thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You know the whole drill. And thank you so much to all of those that, of you that do watch and support me. I really do appreciate it. Um, you guys mean the world to me, and um, you make this channel possible. All right. Thank you, and have a good day, you guys. Um, love you all. Bye.